Hey there, how are you? Hi, my name is Hallie. I am a mindset and dating coach, and I'm also the creator of the How to Single Without Loneliness group. It is a private community over on Facebook. It's a community of strong, smart, single women. And we focus on helping women identify and embrace their own personal potential so they can love every part of their life. It's a great community. If you're not a member, come on over and join us. It's, it's a great um, focus for anybody's life, correct? But we help single women specifically. So I wanted to talk with you today about something that I hear often, two words that I hear so often in the dating world from women and some men, but we're kind of talking specifically about women, although men can learn from this too. Excuse me. Um, and the two words are red flags. So often I hear women who come to me and say, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a smart dater. I really know what red flags I'm looking for. I'm really on the lookout for red flags, red flags, this, red flags, that. And I get it, um, especially after you've been either in a, a a relationship after your divorce that didn't end well and or a long marriage that at the beginning might have been okay but then towards the end fell apart maybe there was infidelity or um, a host of reasons that you think you know emotional abuse I've had um, a lot of women who have been through a lot of really bad relationship patterns and they keep repeating them and so they think that the solution for the right relationship is that they need to be on the lookout for red flags well here's the deal red flags exist and that's true and it's smart to to be aware of them how i like to say see it is there's some maybe tiers to red flags, T-I-E-R-S, different tiers. Um, there are the basic red flags who everyone needs to look out for. And those really depend on what, what you're looking for, right? So if you're looking for a serious committed relationship, then a red flag is somebody who immediately jumps on a, a conversation with you. Maybe you're trying online dating or, or something and they send you a dick pic, right? Red flag. Sorry, <laughs> bleep out. But you've heard of those, right? So, hey, more power to the people doing that. But if that's not what you're looking for, then yeah, that'd be a red flag. But but when here's where this comes into play, where it becomes a problem, is the next tier. So if you're dating out, if you're out there really meeting men, and you have this theory. Um, I like to call it dating the old way to where you are on the lookout for red flags. This is the problem that I don't want to get into too much detail because I want to keep this video short and just give you some basic information because the truth is I can't solve your problem in a, in a 10 minute with 10 minutes of information because it might even be information you've already heard because here's the truth is there's there's the knowing which a lot of people know what to do and what not to do then there's the doing actually doing the thing that you're not supposed to be doing or the things you're supposed to be doing and then there's the being and and you really um can't learn that from a book, which I like to call shelf help or, or a quick video. But I want to give you the knowing part right now, right now, because I want to plant the seed. So you hear this. I hope you do hear this. Your brain is hardwired to look for danger. It's hardwired to, to be, look for fear. It's hardwired to look for trouble and problems and negativity. So it is your job to guide your mind because that is like the primitive brain and we are not primitive people anymore. If you're evolved at all, you know that, that when you walk out the door, there's not going to be a tiger jumping you. So you don't have to be all the time looking for red flags. But if you've been in a bad relationship, you're, you can be fooled into thinking that, right? 
And here's the problem is where focus goes, energy flows. So if you're constantly, if you've come from a, a pattern of bad relationships and your strategy is the old way of going to find a relation, a man with no red flags, you're going to keep finding red flags because that's what you're focused on. Hopefully you're following. It's so dangerous to do because here's the problem. Once you keep repeating this pattern, um, you know, one of my favorite quotes, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. Well, that's what you're doing. And you're going to keep finding red flags and you're going to keep meeting men with major red flags because that's what you're looking for because you haven't gone about it in what I call the new way. You really need to to go through a process that can help you clear all that out. It doesn't take years. It doesn't take months. It's really a quick process to knock that out. And then you're not dating from that energy of looking for red flags. You are dating from an, a, a totally different place. And that's what I call dating the new way. So if you want to learn more about that, then I have a couple opportunities for you, obviously. One is join the Facebook community, the free private group. Or if you're in that group and you're hearing this now in the group, because I'm putting this on a few platforms. So if I'm talking to you and you are in the group, then, and you've, you've probably already heard me say this, it's time for you to book a call with us and book, book your free breakthrough call. This breakthrough call is a great opportunity for you to get really clear on what is blocking you and why you are not finding the relationship that you want right now and why you're not loving every part of your life. If you're not loving every part of your life, you're not doing something right. And no, no blame, no shame. But if you don't want to be living that way, it's time to take, take your life into your own hands and start being a leader in your own life. And the first step would be to do something about it, right? If not with us, do it with somebody else. You know, find a counselor, or find a group. Um, but, but you've got to move into that doing and the being if you want any kind of lasting change. Because this isn't going to be solved by meeting the right man. You're going to continue to meet men with red flags. Um, so how you do that is you book a call with our breakthrough team. The, the call is about 45 minutes. It's a really great call. Like I said, we will get you super clear on what is blocking you once we get clear or I get clear if you talk with me uh, on what is blocking you. And if if we know that we can help you with that, if we think you're a good fit, you think you're a good fit for us, and we're, it's all mutual, we'll let you know exactly how we do that. If not, we will lead you to a better resource for where you are. Either way, it's a great call and a great step forward. So thank you so much for listening. I hope that makes some sense. If not, comment below, send me a, a PM, you know, message me. If, if you're kind of nervous about a call, you don't really want to talk on the phone. I've had a few people hesitate booking that call. And then once they book it, they're like, I don't know what I was so afraid of. Um, we don't bite. <laughs> We're very supportive. It's not a pushy sales call. It's, it's a really a, a very honest call to see where you are. And if we can help you get where you want to go. We're going to let you know how, to, how we do that because why wouldn't we? We want everyone to get the help that they need. So either way, you've got us. We're here to support you and we're glad that you're here. We're in this together, right? So have a great day. Thanks for listening and um, reach out if you have any questions. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.